With gas prices nearing $4 in our neighborhood, drivers are feeling the pinch. It's very tough right now. Got two vehicles, got a family to support. I'm your Fox 47 neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris, and I found out why we are seeing such a jump. They definitely shot up crazy for no reason. I don't understand what's going on. You know, we got to fill the vehicles. Drivers flummoxed, pocketbooks pinched. Gas prices once again on neighbors' minds. I called up nationally known gas price analyst Patrick Dehan for his take on why prices are spiking in our neighborhoods. A lot of that has to do with a complete shutdown of the Exxon Mobil refinery outside Chicago and Joliet. That happened last Monday after a EF2 tornado toppled transmission towers, cutting power to that refinery. Wholesale prices, Dehan notes, have shot up 30 cents a gallon as a result of the stoppage. That refinery can produce up to 9 million gallons of gasoline and diesel a day. It's the loss of those millions of gallons of gasoline and diesel that have pushed the wholesale price up. And that is what is behind the big jump in gas prices we've seen. As for differences between our neighborhoods. Michigan prices tend to be very similar. Taxes are obviously similar between any of the major cities, whether Grand Rapids, Flint, Jackson, Lansing. So the only differences are going to be very localized and likely very small. There is some hope on the horizon. The good news is, unless there's additional damage at that refinery, we shouldn't see much more of an increase. For some, that may not be good enough. I stop paying attention to the gallons. I just start paying attention to the amount I'm putting in now. Just $20, $30 at a time. Can't really pay attention to the mileage. It's not really helping. It's just a disaster right now. In your neighborhood, I'm Darius Udris, Fox 47 News.